Hello guys, we're back at Token 249 and we're very lucky to have Max, the founder of Lex. How are you Max? Hey, I'm great, thanks. How about you? Really good, thank you for having us. Um, can you tell us a little bit, what is Lisk? Of course, so we want to enable blockchain developers, okay? But we saw that it's extremely difficult to build blockchain applications. So we set a goal for ourselves. We want to make blockchain more accessible and the development more simple. And that's our own, or like our whole mission behind Lisk. We really want to simplify the process of developing your own blockchain. And that's the ultimate goal we want to achieve with our SDK. So Lisk is a platform which will enable you in the future to build your own blockchain and ultimately your own blockchain application. Okay. And we know that there's a lot of updates on the SDK recently, especially last, since last year in July when it was released. Um, could you tell us a little bit of the roadmap of this in 2018 look like? Mm -hmm. So last year, middle of it, um, there was like a huge development sprint going on yeah. towards like LISCO 1.0, which will soon finally get out. Yeah. Um, and this will just set like the basics of where we will move to. Um, the SDK itself it cons uh, or consists of many different key technologies. For example, Lisp Core, Lisp Commander, Lisp Elements, yeah. and the Lisp Cup. <coughs> and um, over the course of this year, we're going to see more and more features added to these four components, which will ultimately result into this SDK we are always talking about, which enables the developer to build a blockchain application. There's still a lot missing, but also a lot already done. Like all basics are done, they're all very modular components which can be enhanced from here on. And we are now in a very comfortable state with our team, 40 people working on it every day. That means now progress will be made much, much quicker. Mm -hmm. And I estimate that we will see first real features for developers being added quite soon, where we will then release those step by step so that we can get the feedback and first like experiments going on within the list community towards later this year where the progress will be in such a state where maybe first prototypes can even be developed. Wow, we're all looking very <coughs> forward to it. And since we're at this event, what do you think about Token 2049? What's your biggest takeaway from it? Mm, so it's only the end of the first day, but I think it's quite fascinating to be in Hong Kong. It's the first time ever for me and for Lisk to be in the city or country. Um, and well, what I took away is that there are many, many new projects in the space. It's like when you were going to some conferences like a year, two years yeah. ago, you always saw the same projects, yeah. those big, big projects which are very known nowadays. But now you look around and you see new projects popping up everywhere and you see it also in this conference. I met like so many new people today mm -hmm. which are working on super fascinating technologies and projects with great ideas. And it's like a bit of um, feeling new, like you don't know so many people suddenly anymore because so many new people went into the space, but it feels fresh, you know, it feels Definitely. cool, hip. Um, to be part of this is really just a cool moment for me right now. Yeah, I remember when I first attended one of the earliest events back in 2015, there's only a few projects. And uh, late 2015, it's always those few names, and now we see new project popping out. But again, uh, sometimes it's also ha it's good, and sometimes it's bad. But it's also good to to meet people and seeing all these uh, great talents. It almost feel like it's a vacuum sucking all the talents from from the world to the blockchain world. Yeah. yeah. And um, what would you like to say to let's say the Taiwanese? blockchain and crypto community in Taiwan and will we ever see this in, in Taiwan? Mm -hmm. So we've never been really to Taiwan yet. Um, we want to expand of course globally but when we are still small like we are right now we have to just focus on different markets around the globe, right? But I would be very happy to come to Taiwan and introduce Lisp to the local blockchain community. So basically it's just an invite away. Yeah. So make sure to organize some, something nice. Um, if there's a community of Lisp members already in Taiwan, feel free to organize the meetup and we will send someone from our team over there to just support the whole effort, you know? Definitely. We'll make the connection between, between you and the community, definitely. Thank you so much, Max. Thank you so much.